Hey, welcome to part 2 of the penguin tutorial. In this video, we'll do the body, the wings, feet, and final assembly of the penguin. So, as I mentioned in the previous video, with crochet, the pieces can tend to slant slightly. So, on this side over here, we'll be going in one stitch. So in rounds 14 to 16, that's three rounds, it's first 13 single crochet in pink, and then 11 in white, and then 12 in pink. I'll just do round 14 on camera, and then 15 and 16 off camera. So that's round 14, and now round 15 and 16 will be exactly the same, and as I said before, I'll do these off camera. In round 17, we're going to start decreasing, but we're going to keep doing color changes. We start with the pink and do 4 single crochet. And then a decrease, and I like to do the invisible decrease like this. And we do that again, so four single crochet, and then a decrease. And then one single crochet, but stop halfway to do a color change. Then we do three single crochet in white and a decrease. And then four single crochet and then a decrease. But stop before pulling through the last loop because we're going to color change back to pink. Then in the pink we do 4 single crochet, and then a decrease, and we do that twice. Round 18 is the last round of color changes. And to start, we do three single crochet and a decrease, and we do that twice. And then we do one single crochet and we stop halfway and color change back to white. In the white, we do two single crochet and a decrease, and then three single crochet and a decrease. But stop halfway with that decrease because we're going to do a color change. Mm -hmm. 
Then with the pink, we do three single crochet and a decrease, and we do that twice. And now we're all done with color changes. From now on, we're just going to use pink on the body. In round 19, we do two single crochet and then a decrease and we do that six times to get 18. And now we can stuff the body. In round 20, it's a single crochet and then a decrease, and we do that six times to get 12. You can add a bit more stuffing if you want. In round 21, which is our last round, we do 6 decreases. This brings us down from 12 stitches to 6. Then we can cut the yarn, making sure to leave a bit of a tail for sewing. To sew the hole closed, we're going to go into the front loops of those 6 stitches from the last round. Pull the yarn tight and that will close the hole. Then you can insert the yarn into the body into a few places to keep that yarn tail secure. Next we're going to do the wings and the feet. And they're the same pattern so you will make two in pink and two in yellow. We start by doing a magic ring. And we're going to do all the stitches quite loosely so that we can pull that ring tight at the end. Into the ring we do a single crochet and then two half double crochet. And then three double crochet. And then two half double crochet. And then a single crochet. Then we can pull the ring tight. If you're struggling to tighten the ring, you can try making the stitches looser. Then we finish by doing a slip stitch into that first single crochet. Now we can cut the yarn making sure to leave a bit of a tail. So there is one wing 
and you're going to make another one of these and then another two in yellow for the feet. Now we're going to sew on the wings. And I like to put them in line with the eyes at the side of the body. First grab the tail from the edge of the wing. And then we're going to insert that at the side of the body in line with the eye. And then I like to go through that top stitch of the wing and then down into the next stitch and then grab that same stitch from the body again. And you can repeat this a few times until it's secure. Then you can insert the yarn to the back of the body. Then using the tail from the magic ring I like to grab one or two stitches down from the first stitch and just go over it a few times to secure. Then you can bring this yarn tail back to meet the other one. Tie them together. And then cut the tails short and insert the knot into the body. Now the wing should look like this. And we'll do exactly the same on the other side, making sure that it's symmetrical with the first one. Next we'll do the feet and I like to put the feet at the bottom in line with the edge of the white. And we're going to attach these the same way as the wings by first taking that yarn tail from the edge and grabbing a stitch and going over it a few times. Then we use the tail from the magic ring to keep the foot in the position that you want. And we do the same with the second foot, making sure it's symmetrical with the first. And lastly, we'll embroider the beak. And I like to go about two stitches inside the eyes. So choose your rightmost point of the beak. And then go through to the left. And then go over this quite a few times until you have a nice thick beak.
Just shape out your beak if you need to. And now your small penguin is done. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please subscribe to my channel and make sure to click that notification bell.